Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Trailhead Explanation. In this video, we are going to cover unit update and retrieve multiple records. Now, as part of this unit, we will see how we can update multiple records uh, by using update element. And before we proceed with actual challenge of this unit, we have to make sure that we install a package which has been provided in the beginning of the of this unit. So first quickly, let's install this package what uh, which has been provided in this challenge. If you will scroll up, you can see at the top that you have to paste this ID into the package ID, install it and install for admins only. But before you install the package, make sure you create a new trailhead playground. That's a very important step. If you will uh, start your challenge in an old playground, you might run into errors and you won't be able to complete the challenge. So make sure you have a brand new trailhead playground. Okay, so you here as well, they are suggesting that you have to create a new trailhead playground in order to follow along with these uh, with this unit challenge. So quickly, let's just go to the bottom, scroll down to bottom. And here, so you have to just click on these three dots and click on create playground. So once you click on create, this will take around a minute or two to create a brand new trailhead playground for you. And then we are going to proceed ahead with the installation of the package. So let's just wait. So now our playground has been created. The next step is we'll launch it and install the package that is provided in this challenge. So let's quickly go back here on the top and copy this ID of the package. Let's just go back to our playground and click on install a package here we are going to paste this id which has been provided in the challenge click on install and this will take us to a page where it will ask for which users this package should be installed in our case it has to be installed only for admins so this option is by default selected we are good to go with this one just click on install so this will again take a little bit of time and let's just wait while it's getting installed so our installation has been completed for the application Salesforce flow implementation and just click on done and this will lead you to the install packages list. And you can see over here as well that our package has been installed it's Salesforce flow implementation. Now the next step is we proceed ahead with the challenge. So let's just go here and click on challenge. So the scenario that we have here in this uh, units challenge is basically we have to update cases when contacts related to those cases are inactive. So how we can do that, we have to first of all create a record triggered flow on the object contact whenever it is updated. So let's quickly see what are the filter criteria and everything that we have to add here. So let's just go back here and in the setup quick find search for flows let's click on new flow start from scratch next select record triggered flow create and here we are going to select record is updated for object select contact so whenever a contact record is inactive we are going to update our cases so case is basically the related object of contacts so uh, for the entry criteria, there are certain conditions that whenever our case, uh, whenever our contact status is inactive, we are going to then proceed ahead with whatever implementation there is in this flow. So let's quickly add the condition over here. Select all conditions are met. Now here search for active field equals false. And for the second condition, we have to check whether this reports to ID is not null so is null false so we are going to use this uh, field further in this flow uh, that's why we are making sure that it is not null okay and you have to select this second option only when a record is updated to meet the condition requirement this basically means that uh, whenever you are updating a contact record and updating only these two fields out of any of these two fields and it fulfills this, this criteria then only this uh, flow should execute. Now the first setting over here, every time a record is updated and meets the condition requirement, this simply means that whenever uh, this flow will run every time, if you make an edit into the contact record, so let's say 
you change or update the name of the contact in that case as well this record triggered flow will be triggered but we don't want this we don't want uh, this flow to execute every time a contact record is updated we want it to execute only when the out of these two conditions are updated to meet the starting condition start entry condition so that's why we are selecting this second option for this one make sure you're selecting the actions and related records over here and that's it for the entry criteria. Now, next is we are going to add an update element. Let's quickly click on this plus icon and select update records. Now here we are going to paste the label which has been provided in the challenge, update case contact. Let's just go back here and paste it over here. Now, how to find records to update and set their value. So this basically tells which record we want to update. So in our case, we are going to use update records related to the contact record that triggered the flow. So this is the option that we are going to utilize as per this challenge. Then for the records related to contact here, we are going to select triggering contact and then case object. So select this one. Now here we are going to add our filter conditions like which cases you want to retrieve. So we are going to specify that retrieve only those cases which are not in closed stage. So let's quickly add this as well. Click on all conditions are met and here select status is not equals to closed. So we are retrieving only those cases of the triggering contact record whose status are not closed. Okay, and then once we have retrieved those cases, we are going to set the fields over here. We are going to update the case record in this section. So now uh, if you will click on this part, you can see these are the fields of the case records. So now, can you now just join the dots that we are creating a triggered flow on the contact whenever contact record is updated and we are updating the fields of the case object based on certain filters. Now here in this, these are the list of the, this is the list of the case fields. So we are going to select from this is this only. So we want that contact ID should be set. So you can see arrow is from right to left, pointing towards left. That means we, whatever value we are going to specify over here will be assigned to this field. So what we want is we want we want that whenever our contact is inactive, then the associated open cases, that is those cases that are not in closed stage, that are not in closed status, should be assigned to the manager of our inactive contact record. Contacts uh, basically have one field reports to ID, which holds that to whom this contact reports to. So whenever our contact is inactive, we are going to make sure that any open cases that are under that contact gets assigned to the reporting manager of that inactive contact. So this is what basically we are doing. And uh, for that, we are assigning record dot reports to ID to the contact ID. So if you remember in the entry criteria, we have checked if this field is not null, then only it should proceed ahead in this flow. So that's all we had to do. Just uh, click on save. For the name, let's copy it from the challenge itself. That's all, just click on save. So I hope the scenario is clear to you and you understood what we actually are doing in simple words. You can activate the flow. Let's just go back and test this. So what we'll do is we'll go to app launcher and here we'll select contacts. Now select any of the contact and we'll first check whether it is qualifying uh, to trigger our flow. So what we'll do is we'll go to the entry criteria. We have to make sure the record that we are using uh, has active set to false and report to ID is null, is not null. So let's just go back here and check that. So as you can see, uh, active is false already. And, and for the reports too, this is blank. So as soon as I'll enter any value or select any value to this field, uh, the flow will start its execution. But before that, we have to also make sure uh, for our testing purposes that the case filter is also fulfilled. So we'll go to a flow again and in the update record element, there is one filter that we are applying to fetch the cases, related cases of that particular contact. 
So here you can see that we are fetching and updating only those case records related to contacts that are not in closed status. And if they are not in closed status, then only we are updating that contact ID field on cases with the manager or report to ID, right? So let's just go back to this record, contact record and go to this related case record and let's see what's the status for this case. As you can see, this is already closed. So what we are going to do is we'll first update the status to let's say new and save it. Now go back to your uh, contact record. You can directly go to contact from here. So right now you can see it's already rows, but once we'll update this records report to ID, it is going to execute our flow implementation, right? So let's just fulfill the entry criteria. And as soon as I change this field value, let's say it's seen Forbes that's a, that I'm selecting. And as soon as I'll click on save, our flow will start its execution. And if everything worked fine, this case should have seen Forbes updated over here. So let's just refresh this case. So you can see the contact name got updated, which basically means the contact ID, which we were setting from here, got updated with the report to ID. So this is how you can test this flow. Let's quickly go back here and check whether we have clear this challenge or not. So this unit is completed. Hope you learned something new. See you in the next video with another unit or module. Till then, take care. Thank you so much.